Hey there everybody, Hot and Stinky, and welcome back to Darksiders 2, the Definitive Edition. Alright, so in the last episode, we completed the backtracking for the Land of the Dead. Now in this episode, we're going to be doing the backtracking in the Forge Lands. Uh, we're also going to complete the Scar, and turn some stuff in. But before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at a possessed weapon. Let's go ahead and equip it. So with possessed weapons, you want to upgrade it with things that are going to benefit it. Um, see how like it moves on up compared to something like this. Oh, not that one. See how it doesn't move up that much? Now, it's going to, once you sacrifice it, it's going to take on those abilities. Um, I usually like to sacrifice mine with some arcane. Um... See how that white doesn't do much. Um, but I like to sacrifice mine with some arcane and arcane critical chance or damage. Um, now, when you do level up, you do get an achievement. Uh, I have forgotten that achievement, but I will post it on the when, when this goes up. I'll edit it down to there. I forgot what it was. Um, but I don't have... I did not want to do that. See, my arcane goes up. My damage per second goes up. Let me see if I can... Let me upgrade, see if I get some arcane critical chance. Arcane, arcane. Arcane. Mostly arcane damage. Let's take a look at weapons real quick. Frost. I can put some frost damage on there. Let's do that. Let's put some ice. More ice. I don't know if frost and ice are the same thing. Ice. Uh, we're going to do ice damage. Arcane critical chance went up. Nice. Oh, no. Wrong weapon. <laughs> that one. Arcane critical chance goes up. Okay. But that's it. So let's go ahead and fast travel. I did not mean to get out of here. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the Tree of Death. Um, I'll probably save the Bloodless to the end of the episode. Um, Bloodland, Bloodless, there's one in the Stonefather's Vale, Baneswood, and the Fjord. Um, you know what? Uh, I want to make sure I didn't sell shit. I got a lot of talismans. Okay, I want to get that. I'll keep the bloodless on me. Um, I'm going to take care of the bloodless right now. Fuck it. And then we'll go to the scar. Do the bloodless. Then... We'll head to the fjord. We'll do the bloodless. We'll get a book of the dead page. Along with a secret chest. And then we'll head on over to the other part. Let's take a look where we're at. Let's take a look here at the map. So, we've got a Bloodless right here. we got a Bloodless right there. And we have a Bloodless right around here. Uh, let's just go to the Fjord. We'll do the Bloodless there. As long as, as well as get our book of the dead page. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we'll do the scar, which is about a level 17 dungeon or level 16. No, no, we're good. We're at the appropriate level to do it. And now these enemies are nothing but level fives. And I'm going to kill them all. Oh, dude, you didn't have to hit me like that, bro. Where's the... Oh, there he is. So he was at level five? Yeah, he's nothing. I'm not even going to summon my powers that be. All right. So our bloodless is up here. We've already been over here before when we did the death grip loop. 
Is that a... Oh yeah, see, he's a level 15. We can stop with some shit. Man. And then we'll turn this stuff in. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll do everything here in the Forge Land. We'll fast travel back to the Land of the Dead. Turn in the Bloodless. And then we'll head on over to the City of the Dead. Get that squared away for tomorrow. Damn, there's one. Did you drop anything? Oh god, yeah, you did. I'm still looking for a... So we got purple there, purple there. Any purple there? I got purple there. So I just need purple shoulders. Um, so that's another achievement. I have to go alone. Called Mass... This is no you don't need to go alone. It's called Mass... Dude. It's called Mass Ruckus. So, when you have an epic in each of your slots, so that's your primary, secondary weapon, shoulders, armor, boots, talisman, whatever, the gloves, all purple items, you get the achievement of Mass Ruckus. I do not have all purple items yet. And we were already in here before when we got the what was a power stone bite? I don't remember which one it was. All right, so let's go ahead, put ourselves on this platform, split them. Oh, come on, come on! I'll put one soul over here. And then the other one on the other side. Whoops, wrong way. And dodge, come on! Go oh, no, that was fucking quick. Alright, so same thing. We're gonna put one there. This time, purple is gonna jump on over to the other side. And that is going to be Book of the Dead page. Number one for this chapter, number 21 overall. All right, and then there is a secret chest. Oh, might as well just shoot them. You break all the pottery, four of them, so that's three, there's four. That'll be secret chest number Six. Fifth one was in the last death tomb. All right. Well, let's take a look here. Let's go to the Stone Father's Veil. Get this one over with. Then we'll head on over to the Nook. We'll get a chest. And then we'll get the other bloodless, and then we'll head on over to the scar. For the scar, I can only, according to my notes, there's only a couple of collectibles in there. Book of the Dead page and a boatman coin, if I'm correct. Hopefully. I should be, though. Alright, so the other bloodless should be right here. There he is. They're all 15. Come on. Just, just die. Go back to the land of the dead. Meet your fucking maker. Ah, execution. Do the execution. Do the execution. Why aren't you doing the execution? I'm hitting B. Jesus. Alright, so that is two. Oh, no, we can just fast travel. Let's head to the Nook. Don't need to go to the Weeping Crag. We will be back there when we get the Void Walker. Um, that will be in the next area of the game. Uh, we still got a little bit more to do in the Land of the Dead. So in the Nook is just a chest. I 
gonna go. It's right there by the. I can't even remember what they're called. Right over there by that thing. Up there. I already went over there to get a book of the dead page. And this thing's not gonna last. I got to level six. Everybody? All right. No, what in the fuck was that, Death? Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, it's going to be a pain in the scar. I already know it. All right. There's one. There's two. And there's three. All right, so we went to the fjord. We went to the nook. And we got a skill point. Let's go ahead and spend that bad boy real quick. I got three of them? What the damn hell? Okay, so let's do more wrath. Uh, we'll do more ice damage. Uh, and Angus Guard Hands is just air community active. Um, let's do that. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to soul split either. Jesus Christ. Alright, so we went to the Nook. Fjord. Uh, we need to go right there. So let's just fast travel out of the nook. Let me go get the third bloodless. And then we'll go to the scar. Get that completed. And then uh, that'll be everything for the fjord land. Or whatever. The fjord. No. Except for the forge. Forge lands. Jesus, how did I fuck that up? Alright, come on, death. Must be fucking tired. I just got off work. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. Just wanted to get this episode completed. And there it is. Just got off work. I haven't eaten. I'm gonna be fucking shit up all day. I fucking know it. Come on, dude. Die, die, die. And that's the third one. Alright, let's get this talisman off, because I do not want it on me no more. We'll sell that piece of shit, too. Uh, ooh, more wrath. Uh, let's go over here. Nope. Nope. Oh, more wrath. Nothing else is affected. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. More health. Everything goes down. Alright, I'll keep it at that. I don't... Yeah. Alright, I'll sell the rest of them or sacrifice them or something. Okay, let's go to the scar. Let me just make sure... We went to the shore, got the Book of the Dead, Secret Chest, Nook went to the, got the chest, now we're going to the Scar. Where are we going to fight Gorn, or Garn, or whatever his name is. is. Alright, we were here earlier, we got a Book of the, I, god damn it, we did not get a Book of the Dead, we got a Boatman Coin, and we got a Power Stone Bite. I don't remember what episode that was. I oh, that was after the foundry. So we could have come in here earlier to get a chest, uh, but chances are it probably would have locked us in. Let's go ahead and get that chest right now. Garn. Oh, he's waiting for us. He's here to welcome us. Nice. Well, that's not cool. It's a little rude. 
Now I'm already out of wrath. Like I wasn't full up to begin with. Am I using my possessed weapons? I am. Okay. Let's make sure I got that bad boy equipped. Drop down the hole. Let's get rid of this motherfucker. Everybody? Alright. This dungeon isn't particularly hard. There is Garn's a little bit tough. A couple of different difficult platforming. Such as this one. Um, if you're not quick, if you're not patient, you're definitely gonna die a couple times. And it, it's, I mean it's not hard, but this, the key is to is to pretty much let death set himself. I know he fucks up a lot. But once he's set, then you'll be able to go. If you just, you know, don't go. Go, Death! Like, right there. Oh, man, we're gonna fucking die. Oh, come on. There's a worse one in the City of the Dead. Oh, we did just fine. All right. We want to go this way first. Let me take a look what's in here. Yes, we want to go this way first. Sense of crows. Why isn't this one coming up out of the... Was it seriously just waiting for me to kill its friends? That's why I wanted to get that ice damage. I want that. Uh, make them freeze. Ghoulies! Everybody? Alright. Let's go ahead and get on our custodian. And kill some more shit. So you can see right up there. Boatman coin. We're gonna go grab that. In just a moment after we kill all these guys. Just, just die. Make it easy on yourselves. not make it difficult on me and just grab this shit right now. Alright. Jump across. Oh shit. I almost went further than I should have. more assholes I did not mean to do that Jesus oh my god I'm just, I'm just fucking shit up everything god damn I'm probably gonna fuck up the next platform again. I know it alright so we'll go ahead and get our skeleton key there's Garn mocking us asshole so we'll grab the boatman coin right now we'll, we'll, we'll save it we'll use it as a guide so I'm going to miss that chain we're gonna go over here first and we are going to get book of the dead page number two or number number two for chapter three 22 overall all right we'll use that Boatman coin as a guide to kind of land on the chain. At least I hope so. 
That was Vote McCoin number seven. Oh, and it worked. Vote McCoin number 70. Um, I couldn't find anything else in this dungeon. So we should be good to go on collectibles. Alright, we got some more guys to fucking smash. Smash, smash, smash. You just die already, bro. All right, well now we gotta leave our custodian friend. He's too big. Lift it through the door. And that's that pit we climbed up out of. And we got more guys to fight. Kind of shocking that there are more enemies to fight. I do not have Angus Guard with. It does give me more ink. I'll do it after I fight these guys. Probably won't be using it as much quite yet. Is there more? Oh. Uh, where is it? X? Okay. So that's the way we came in. That's where Garn is. We gotta go this way. Oh, I almost jumped off of there. To the skeleton door. And this is the other platforming area which I will probably die at because I've been sucking ass today. It's the same thing. Gotta let death set himself. Jump at the right times. Oh my goodness. This one moves a lot slower, so it's not your Am I in a rush? I don't feel like I'm in a rush. No, we're fine. Big jump at the end. And more guys. Jesus, this place is just full of fucking enemies. All right, so before we go in there, we're gonna climb up here first and get us a chesty chest. Maybe it's got the purple I need. Nope. Asshole. All right. Is that per kill? Oh. I don't like the health per kill. I don't got enough wrath, so I'm just gonna use a wrath potion. Campaign, eat my f fucking axe. I don't even know what the fuck I'm using on my secondary. Is that my L steel? I don't even know. What am I using? It is. Okay. Now we gotta open up these gates. Wake up another custodian. And I'll use I usually don't, but I I think for this time I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use them to fight. Fuck these guys. I'm way too tired to be dealing with them. Mash, mash, mash. Alright. Oh, dude. He's fucking hiding in the fucking corners and shit. And 
No, behind you. What the? F Thank you. All right, we're going to go and get our dungeon map. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Perfect on timing. Only, only about 25 minutes in. We'll go this way so we can get a chest. Oh, that's the other side I do that. Jesus. I'm going for it. Oh man, that was fucking close. That must burn my ass. There's one. That'd be nice if I can just death grip to the other side. I mean, it's right fucking there. Go back this way. Get ourselves a chest. Even though that is purple. Okay. Just mount them, death. Just mount them, fuck. Alright. Now to the other side. I don't know why it's doing that. I know how to use that. It's not our first rodeo. Stop right there, Death. Come on, man. Oh. Uh, gotta go this way. Oh. Hold on to it, Death. Jesus. Alright, we should have one more big fight, and then it's Garn. Or Gorn, or whatever the his name is. And that's just perfect with the lava no longer for now. Go, 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 go. Right, let's go back into the waist deep lava. Oh, it's not that bad. today Wednesday we're gonna be done with this so the, the plan is we're gonna do City of the Dead on Thursday Friday we're gonna start the next area on Saturday yeah we won't get into the next area really until We'll start it, we'll like do the intro part, but we won't really get really into the game, into that area, until maybe Mondays, like on Monday. Let's do some pros. Hey, don't be throwing your shit at me, you're not a fucking monkey. There are two of them? Wow, well, let's just use fucking... Reperform, fuck these assholes. Yeah, I wasn't gonna spend 20 minutes fighting them, fuck that. I still didn't get any of the purple shit I fucking need. I mean, you can always buy it, but there's no sense of buying that if you can pick it up.
This should lead us right back to the beginning. Nope, but that was close. What in the fuck? How much closer do I need to be? See, now I'm too close. Oh, what in the fuck? That made no fucking sense, but okay. And then before we go and fight Garn or Gorn, I'm not sure which one. We got one more chest. So we should have Death Grip Quick. Right there. That's if you're not paying attention, I mean that's definitely gonna be missable. And I'm going to die right here because I'm always I cannot. Now you can. I always miss this chain. And that wasn't a big enough Oh I fucking got Nice. I always miss that shit. And the fact that I got it makes everything else I've done in this playthrough insignificant. Well in this dungeon insignificant. Impossible. Oh. I got enough health, so. Alright, let's go take care of Garn. So it's Gorn. Garn was in the cauldron. My bad. Uh, yeah, I'd be careful of that movie. He fucking explodes himself like a fucking Volkov or whatever from Pokemon. And it pulls himself back together. Jesus. He's got that fire bullshit. And then he also summons Constructs. They're not my quarry. I have no problem with these constructs. Birdies! Oh, we got it. We got it. There we go. Mace Maximus. A weapon of incredible power forgotten to the eons. Formerly brandished by an ancient lich warlord whose reign of conquest faded into dust. Locked deep in the tombs below the dead plains, thought never to resurface. The only remnant of this of his tale is inscribed in ruins on the weapon's blades. And that weapon's pretty dope because it, we can... Oh, it's over here. We can actually upgrade it. So that's pretty dope. Same thing with this one. Okay, so that's Gorn, that's the Scar. Let's go ahead and fast travel real quick to Tristone. We'll turn in Echidna, and I think that's it. The last one we have is Argul. So we'll turn in Echidna and the Scar to Moria. And then we're going to fast travel out of here as well. Back to the tree of life, to the kingdom of the dead. Kidna will trouble you no longer. I only wish I'd been there to see your suffering. Few can pass through darkness and emerge unscathed. All right. All right. And, you know, for makers, they figure they fucking rebuild this shit. But no, no, they don't give a fuck about their home. Unbelievable. All right, Muria, turning in the mad construct. Which was the greater sin? To create a monster or to send you to kill it? Either way, it is finished. Then Gorn's Death don't give a fuck about that. Ended at long last. I can still see the spark of life burning inside him, turning him to slag. May the stone forgive us, horseman. I cannot forgive myself. All right. 
Let's get out of here. That's everything in the Forge Land. Now, we need to go back to the Tree of Life. We're going to go to the Kingdom of the Dead. And we're actually going to stop by... Um, I forgot to do it. We're going to talk to Ostagoth real quick. He does have something to say about the Kingdom of the Dead. So, we'll see what he has to say. Uh, I think I still need to sell a lot of shit. I'll probably upgrade some weapons off screen. I don't know yet. I'll have to take a look at my inventory. I'll do that after this or tomorrow before sometime. Alright, we're at the Tree of Death, the Kingdom of the Dead. Alright, let's go speak to Ostagoth and then we'll end this episode. Wrong button. What can you tell me about the city of the dead? I have never been inside its walls and never will, so long as I draw breath. It is a place for wayward souls, or was, until the fall of man. What changed? Once the screams of the dead echoed from the city and across the plains. But now, the city is silent. And only the echoes remain. All right. All right, everybody. So that will do it for this episode. I appreciate you watching. Hope you're enjoying it. In the next episode, we will do the City of the Dead. All right. So that will be it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Also, as well, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I definitely do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. All right, everyone, enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!